Welcome to the AMSOIL Information Series. I'm Rob Stenberg. With me today is Matt Morgan, Product Specialist with AMSOIL, and we're here today to talk about the new AMSOIL Polymeric Grease. Now Matt, why don't you tell me why AMSOIL decided to go this direction with this new grease? Well, AMSOIL really looked at competitive greases out there and the needs of heavy equipment owners and operators and determined there were some issues with competitive products. So what are some of the issues that a heavy equipment operator or owner would see out in the field? First and foremost would be pound out resistance. That's the biggest one. Secondly, I would talk about water resistance and contaminant ingress. So now pound out, what exactly are you talking about when you say pound out? Pound out is really when a big piece of equipment slams repetitively either into earth or rock or just slams the bucket repetitively so when back you see and that forth. that bucket coming up and down on a front end loader, say? That's exactly right. Okay. When that occurs, all of that pressure from that heavy load is pushed directly onto the pins that hold that bucket to the piece of equipment. That whole load forces inferior greases out that cannot cling to themselves or to metal components. So once that pound out occurs, there's nothing there to lubricate those pieces of equipment. That's exactly right. You have metal on metal contact, and even worse, once that grease is gone, there's no seal on the outside really to keep that water and contaminant ingress from occurring and causing extensive wear. But tell me about the seal. What, what are you talking about when you're talking about a seal when it, when it comes to grease? Uh, when you grease the piece of equipment, it both lubricates and pushes out to the outside of the component so that it creates a seal keeping that water and contaminant ingress hmm. away. And so if you want dirt and contaminants out, I take it also keeps out water? Absolutely. So you want to avoid water because of rust and contaminants and grit, obviously that's going to cause what? Abrasive wear. And if you have a lot of abrasive wear in a piece of equipment like this, what do you have? Very expensive replacement costs. Well, we want to help avoid that. So this is the Amsoil Grease Impact Simulator. I know that. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this machine, why Amsoil created it, and show us how it works. Sure, this is the simulator. Uh, Amsoil created it because there's really no ASTM test out there to test greases for pound out resistance. Amsoil therefore created one to show our, the resistance of grease both for our grease and competitive greases. And it's a very basic operation. It uses pressurized air from the air tank and that air drives a ram which strikes the metal anvil below every time you push the plunger. So it's repeatable, it's the same every time, for, so no matter what grease you put in there, you're going to have a repeatable test. Absolutely, very scientific, very repeatable, and great. an excellent way to show the resistance. Why don't, we, why don't we test some grease? What do you want That's to test great. first? Let's go ahead and start by testing the Caterpillar Ultra 5 Molly Grease. Super. The way that we test the grease is to take a small standard amount of grease directly out of the tube and place it right on the anvil. We then take the plastic safety shield and place that over the anvil. And that's, that's to make sure I don't get my suit dirty. That's when I exactly test right. This grease. Once we have the safety shield in place, we slide the anvil into the unit. And the final thing we do before we test the grease is take a look at the air pressure to ensure it's consistent from test to test. You want the air pressure the same every test. That's exactly right, to remove that variability. Okay. So you just push down on that anvil and away she goes. Yes, sir. And you can see exactly how that formed in that test. Yep. Super. Next, we'll test Philips Megaplex XD5. Push it in. We check our air pressure. To execute the test, push the plunger. Now we'll test Bobcat Supreme Heavy Duty Grease. Next, we'll go ahead and test Case Molly Grease. Now we'll test Valvoline Palladium. Now we'll test the Amsoil Synthetic Palmeric Grease. Push it into the unit, check the air pressure one more time, and we're ready to test. Wow, no pound out. Matt, what happens if you hit that a couple of more times? No pound out. Well, Matt, I can really see how the pound out effect and the seal effect that you talked about earlier, how Amsoil's grease really does perform. And it really does cause that seal, and it doesn't pound out like the other greases do. That's exactly right. It keeps that pound out, keeps that seal. And the other major benefit that comes from both of those is the grease lasts a lot longer in service than any of these other competitors because it doesn't pound out. Another benefit. 
Well, thanks, Matt. Thanks for showing us the AMZO Grease Impact Simulator. I'm Rob Stenberg. We'll see you next time.